Hey everybody, this is Fat Frog, and welcome to the swamp. And today on Ark Survival Evolved, we are going to tame an otter and test it out and see what we can do. Now, the otter is a super cool creature, and other than being cute, I think it's like a game changer. This is, happens to be a wild male, level 95, and we're going to go ahead and try to tame that. And in order to do that, we're going to have to kill a fish and drag the body over to the otter. So where did our otter go? There he is. So we gotta catch him and hit E. No, missed him. All right, we fed the fish and now we've got the taming bar going. So let's go ahead and find another fish. We'll avoid the saber tooth salmon cause that will cause a lot of problems if they all try to get me. So we'll grab him, grab this fish and where did our otter go? Is that him over here? It sure is. Oh, he's ready to eat again. All right, so we should just need one more fish to feed this guy. We're playing single player on Ragnarok. And let's see, our taming speed is 3x. So there's an otter. Was that the otter we were just after? They're very fast. I think that's a different one. That's a different otter. Oh, well. So we've got a couple of otters here on Ragnarok, and we'll show you on the map where we are in just a moment. But let's get one tamed up first. There we go. So we got ourselves a level one, it's up to 127 now. So we might as well and go see if we can find the other one. I think that might have been it. There was three in the neighborhood. So let's find ourselves one of the cotty kind of fish. Let's try a salmon. Hopefully there's none other around. No others around. Okay, there is. We'll drop the body here. Oop, otter's after it. Looks like he's got it under control. Yep, for sure. Now we gotta find our other otter. We might as well tame up two. There's one. That's probably the one from before, yep. There we go, so we got ourselves a couple otters. Passive tames, it's easier of course if, uh, whoa. It's easier of course if, uh, so we'll pick this guy up. We got him wrapped around our collar. Looks like he may have picked up some silica pearls. Let's fire this guy out there. There he goes. So we just got that fish. Let's pick him up and now let's take him out of the water. So you can do this without scuba gear on. It's just a little easier with the scuba gear on. And that's a true down, I think. So let's kill that thing right away. These are tough dudes. I'm gonna probably get knocked out. I'm sure I'm gonna get knocked out. Okay, I accidentally killed my otter. All right, we'll be right back as soon as I wake up. All right, so I'm back up, and here is our surviving otter. Unfortunately, we killed the other one with our super nice Mastercraft pike here. But anyway, we've got this guy up. Ended up taming out at level 127. Let's check its stats and what it got for us. So it got us some silica pearls. So we'll add that to our collection. It got us some fish meat. And um, let's see, sometimes they'll also pick up regular meat and hide from uh, killing something, or excuse me, eating something that you've eaten. So let's see what we've got here. We've got health of 128, so that's pretty low. Our stamina is 4, 14, which doesn't really matter because we're not riding this guy anyway. Oxygen is 1700, which is pretty good. He's going to need to survive underwater if he's on your shoulder for a while. Our weight's a little boosted, so he's barely got any weight at 39.6. So let's just go ahead and drop some of this fish. It's nice to collect fish, but it's no big deal. So we'll leave some in his inventory for him to eat. And movement speed's uh, 240, which is nice. Um, and it's a little boosted. But we can, on the otter, we can give him a helmet. So if I had put a helmet on our other one, and there he's got a miner's helmet, which he looks pretty cool with. Um, he would have been probably had a better chance at surviving. So let's give him, uh, let's see, the flak helmet's given him 155, the miner's helmet's given him 179, actually, the ones that we brought along. So let's just, uh, let's just grab our otter. And so, other than being really cute and uh, getting us silica pearls, 
They can also occasionally get us black pearls, which are pretty hard to get unless you've tamed up some, you know, deep sea creatures. And you're going to have to probably be able to do it sort of mid or late game when you can actually build up some scuba gear and whatnot and be able to survive. So him getting just uh, black pearls on occasion is a real big benefit. The other thing that this guy is going to do for us, let's just toss him off here for a second. And we'll take a look. He's going to go fishing, I think, since I tossed him off. Let's go ahead and take a look at our hypothermal insulation. So it's 163. And now let's go pick this dude up and see what we've got. And our hypothermal insulation has now jumped to 403. So that is absolutely amazing. And it's going to allow us uh, to go up into the mountains and survive the cold. So this guy is super useful. And for me, it's pretty much a game changer because it allows me to go up into the mountains where I would freeze to death relatively quickly, even when wearing uh, fur armor or this pretty sweet flak armor that I've got with boosted uh, hypothermal insulation. So let's go up into the mountains and see just how well it does for me. And just really quickly, these are the ponds where I located the otter. And so we're going to head straight over here to uh, one of the ice caves, I believe, is in this uh, general direction. And uh, we're going to see how we're doing as far as cold goes. So we're not snowflaked or anything at all. Um, I don't think the otter has any effect um, in the heat. It doesn't seem to keep you that um, much warmer and uh, we can go and uh, and test that out but here we come into the ice cave and we are snowflaked which is no big deal but now we can go up here and now we're not even snowflaked we can harvest the the uh, oil nodes and the crystal that's in here no problem let's fly up here and continue to go where it's colder hey bears what's up bears so let's head even further up the mountain and so in Ragnarok now, I can go ahead and get ice wyvern eggs and not be at least worried about the cold weather. Still have to deal with the actual ice wyverns. Have to deal with the uh, with the freezing to death. So you can see I'm still snowflaked. I would be ice cubed um, prior to that and uh, and certainly die. So that's the otter in a nutshell. Let's go ahead and see how many otters or otter fishing trips it would take to get some black pearls one thing about the otter since it's getting silica pearls for you you might think it'll also harvest these oil shell or oyster shells so if you were to be in some shallow water you could toss your otter off and get them uh, so let's toss our otter and notice he doesn't get them at all I'm gonna go ahead and grab some since I'm here and might as well grab a little more okay so he doesn't do that unfortunately but let's go ahead and see what he does with the saber-toothed salmon. So the otter doesn't always seem to kind of do what you would like it to do. Sometimes he just sorts of hang hangs out like this. Um, where did he go? Pick him up. There we go. So let's get a little closer and see what happens. Okay, we've got some saber-toothed salmon. And when I was testing the otter out before... They did a pretty good job of holding their own against a, what was it, like a level 120 Mega Piranha. So let me get rid of that X. You can see, where did the otter go? Okay, so that time he was close by, and now he's going after that saber tooth Salmon with gusto. So there he is. He might be getting into some trouble now, but he's got a helmet on. Whoa! That saber-toothed salmon just appeared out of nowhere. So, all right, he's killed two of them now, and I've got one on me. All right, I took that guy out. Hopefully the otter's gonna be okay. I'm a little worried about stabbing here because we killed the last one. Our otter might not make it. Let's hope he does. Looks like he's getting us some silica pearls. All right, so is he going to eat that guy? Sure did. All right, we got another saber tooth salmon on him. It looks like he's doing okay. He's not too bloody. He does have some armor. And he's kicking some saber tooth salmon, but pretty seriously. 
All right, let's pick him up and we'll take him over to the shallow. Uh, we'll take him over to the shore and then we'll dump him off and then we'll see what he's collected for us. All right, anything else dangerous in the area? Nope, so let's uh, drop our otter off here. We'll check his inventory. He's got three black pearls. And that is awesome. So I don't know, he must have eaten maybe like eight or so of uh, of those, uh, of those uh, I'm gonna spit it out, it's saber tooth salmon. And uh, he's got his own little miner helmet on, so it's like carrying a flashlight on your back. Um, they're super cute, I like his color, I like his little sharp teeth. So that's going to be the otter for today. Man, I look pretty dumb with these uh, with the scuba mask. That's the otter for today. It does all that stuff. The other thing I'll mention about the otter is um, I tried putting the tried kind of farming with the otter. What I did was I spawned in a whole bunch of otter, tame otters, and then I uh, and then I I put them on wander to see if they would just you know wander around more or less killing fish and then could come back to them and find that they're you know, stomachs were full of fish and silica pearls and whatever else, but that didn't work. I did kind of AFK on that for a couple hours and didn't have any success with that. So that's, uh, that was kind of a bummer, but that would be kind of a way to abuse the otter anyway. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.